Alrighty, we are back with another episode of Behind the Bee. Uh, this week, obviously a little bit of a different format, as you can see here. Um, beside me, I've got Jake, also known as the Marin, and uh, Chantel. And they are part of a much larger team, which we've set up um, making up the culture team. So I wanted to bring them together today and ask a few questions around what the culture team looks like, what the function is and, and what, the, what the benefits have, have been for the, uh, for the wider, wider Bentec team. Um, so I might throw it across to Jake now and maybe let us know how long the coach team's been running um, and um, you know, what, are some of the, um, what are some of the initiatives that we've done so far. Yep. Um, so the coach team's been around for about two years. Um, started off as um, we got a group of people together um, representing each sort of um, facet of the company um, just to help communicate events, um, ideas, issues. Uh, some of the well, some of the big things that we've been working on, we've had a um, we've had a footy colours day. Um, what yeah, else? we also had the McGrath Foundation, so we did like a as Reese is wearing, we've got the pink shirts for everyone, got the pink high vis for the guys out the back as well. Just a little bit of a um, initiative to always show that we're looking for things to support and everything like that. Yeah, we actually, we, we, we ended up raising about $1,600 on that day. Um, as a collective team, it was a really good day. Now everyone gets to wear the pink around the place. Um, so yeah, we've had a few, um, a few really good events over the time. Yep. Um, and I guess it's, it's it, what, what the cool, I guess it's, it's, it is about sort of that supporting element and, and giving back and things like that as well. But I think what's been really good is those events Although there is a wider theme of supporting, um, you know, that, that corporate social responsibility element, it really brings the teams together. Um, you know, everyone got together on that day and it was great to see every, literally every single person had their pink shirt on. Um, we got together and had a, a wicked breakfast. Um, and, you know, that's, that's what's really important is bringing the team together. So I guess segueing into what, 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 what my next point was going to be is what do you think have been over the last couple of years or in your times in the culture team, what do you think the, the biggest benefits have been from a from an internal cultural point of view for, for us as a, as a wider Bentec group? Yeah, well, for sure. I, I feel like everyone's really sort of come together a lot more. Yeah. Um, these uh, people who wouldn't really see each other, we're, we're in a new building now. It's quite, quite a large um, building and, and people are separated from each other a bit. So it's really good people who otherwise wouldn't really work together um, get to come and hang out. Um, nice sense of calmness around the group. Um, have, everyone has a lot of fun. Everyone's playing cricket at lunch and um, yeah, what else? Yeah, it kind of builds like a sense of connection, different type of communication throughout the whole company. Um, obviously we've got the different areas within the company and like you said, it brings everyone together and us as the culture team, having different events that we do really just ensures that we do have that connection with everyone and kind of involves everyone without having to make it a serious matter. It can be fun, it can be an awareness, it can be pretty much anything. So it's just really nice that we've got that team that brings that forward. Yeah, I feel like we've really come together a lot more over the yeah. time, would you agree? Yeah, I think so. I think from from my point of view, I think definitely since we've like had, had a team that is that, that represents sort of, you know, whether it be, you know, sales or marketing or manufacturing or engineering, Having someone from each of those elements brings in a different view around, you know, what those people want to do, some of the things that might be missing in terms of interaction, and like, like, like you said, Chantel, it's it's like a really like relaxing environment for everyone to come together, play some cricket, have a have a have a break, brekkie burger, um, and you know, have a bit of fun, wear some pink shirts or bring your footy colours in, and you know, get a bit of that like friendly rivalry going. Who do you support? Who you don't? Um, luckily, I think most of us here are, are West Coast or. Yeah. You might you might say unluckily given what this house this season's gone, yeah. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. I think it's been fantastic in having that. I think any any company could benefit from having a dedicated culture culture team. Um, finishing us off, then, um, what are, why don't you why don't you let us know um, what are some of the things we've got coming up? Well, actually, going uh, we've we've really had a bit of a health theme going um, for 2022. We've we've really had a focus on it, and we've just had. Um, We've just had movement march, sort of where, where we actually got an app, and everyone everyone um, posted their sort of how, how many steps they were going. We had some, we had a, a winner who 
walked a crazy amount of steps. Don't know how. Um, <laughs> and uh, had a team goal, which we got very, very close, a very lofty goal. Um, so moving along with that theme, we've we've got some other, we've got um, some uh, some push up challenges coming up. Um, got. Um, what else? We have the staff meeting tomorrow, which with that one we've got like a few mental health speakers coming to speak yeah. to us about. Yeah, so that's yeah. going along the lines with Lifeline and Beyond Blue, um, just like bringing awareness along with that, and yeah, kind of pushing that along with like the health side of things that we're kind of making a trail along with this year. Um, so we've got that tomorrow and they're also doing like one-on-ones, so that will be good if anyone wants to jump in. can be positive, can be a chat about anything, so yeah, we've got that coming up and then hopefully after these are done we'll have a few more events for the year yep. that we'll bring forward. Yeah, more to come. Awesome. Alright, well thank you both for uh, sitting down with me. Um, we'll wrap up the, uh, the episode there. I'm obviously really excited to see What's coming next from, from a culture point of view, I always enjoy the events and I think it's great to get the team together. But um, yeah, like I said, we'll wrap it up there and we'll um, see you all next time for the next episode. Thank you. Cheers, guys.